I don't know what happened. Let's t try this again. This is take two on the cat. Gee whiz. I don't know what happens. One minute you're there and the next minute you guys are gone. So there's, there's that again. So you can see that. Okay. Oh my goodness. You know, lost you, and hopefully I'll find you. Let's see. No, that's a different one. Okay, so hopefully you guys are back. And that one's gone. <clears throat> I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to continue on. Hopefully, there'll be someone on there. Or hopefully, you guys can see me. Can you see me again? <laughs> Gosh. Oh, I give up. All right. I'm just going to do a little bit more coverage on the stem. Go a little bit white with that brown. Um, what did I do? Brown and yellow. A little bit too much white. Go into a little bit more brown, a little bit more yellow brown. You can add a little bit of sienna, sienna to that if you want that to be more. Gosh, that's real light. Great day. Won't last long. It'll dry darker. Okay. Are you all back? Or am I not live? Okay, I'm live. All right. Shoo wee. I don't know what happened. Okay, so got that. Now I'm going to do a little bit of lights in my jack o' lantern, get some um, light here going on. I've already got some of my darks established with that sienna being in that orange. Mostly keeping the lights at the top. And just keeping the dark down at the bottom. Just going into Sienna. And orange. I'm putting a little bit of red in here to just darken it up a little bit. Let's see if that'll darken it some more. Wow, that paint really dries. This canvas just really tightens up when I paint it. Uh, once I start putting the paint on it, this uh, Practica that I get at Jerry's Artorama, it just gets tight as a drum. I love that. Because most canvases are like real loose and bouncy. And this one is not bouncy at all. I love that. Love that. Hey, Heather. Welcome back. <laughs> That's my poor internet, I guess, this evening. I don't know. I have poor internet all the time. It gets on my nerves. I need to uh, move to the city or um, figure out better internet issues. We have uh, satellite internet, and um, I don't think I'm on Wi-Fi right now, but um, it's not really that great. And the self-service isn't strong enough down here, uh, or actually in my house, the cell phone service isn't very strong, because um, I live out in the boondocks, and I have a metal roof. Who knew? 
we had uh, never had any trouble with internet uh, self service here, and um, we had that Doratio a uh, few years back, and um, our I kept noticing I was like, gosh, uh, we are just self-service is just horrible and I thought well I wonder if one of the cell towers is down so I um, called AT&T that's when we had AT&T I have Verizon now but I called AT&T and I said oh my gosh what in the world is going on did uh, the storm uh, blow one of the towers over or something or you know so it was just the service was just horrible and she said, no. She said, I don't show any towers down. She said, are you all doing anything? Did y'all do anything different? Is there anything going on there? Do, you know, something happened different? And I said, well, no, not that I know of. And I was out on the back deck talking to her because I couldn't get service inside of my house. And I turned around and I looked at my house and I was talking to her. And I said, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I looked up and there, I just looked at the metal roof and I, that we had just put on our house. And I said, it's the roof. It's the metal roof, isn't it? And she said, yep. She said the metal uh, roof um, will cause that where you don't, you know, get a good signal because it can't go through the metal, I guess. It obstructs the signal. So... That's why we don't have very good cell phone service here. So, hey, Dawn. Hey, Kathleen. Um, yeah, so I have um, a thing, a Wee Boost, I think is what it's called. Or no, it's not a Wee Boost. That's what I want. The Euro is what I have. And it's a Wi-Fi. Um, it takes my Wi-Fi from room to room, which is helpful. But, um, I would like to have, I'm going to dry this a little bit. Where's my hair dryer? I'm going to dry this a little bit so I can paint on it without it uh, being too wet. But I would like to get this, um, the booster thing that you, I think that's what's called the Wee Boost, um, that you um, put like on the outside of your house. Yeah, there's like some sort of an antenna you can put on the outside of your house and um, it brings the signal to your house from the cell tower and then you um, have some sort of thing in your house that uh, takes it to your phone. So, something, something's got to give. <laughs> Your service can be moody depending on which kind of cloud is passing over. Absolutely. Uh, and you have a metal roof too. Yeah. It doesn't help. It, um, they're pretty and all, and it was nice that we didn't have to get rid of the shingles and everything whenever we put the metal roof on, but, um, I don't know. It's just Crazy, crazy, crazy the things that we have to deal with. See what I mean? I don't know if I like those eyes down that far. Going that one up farther. Okay. Now I'm going to do, um, what color should I do the eyes? I don't know. Make them look like there's a light in there. With some yellow and white.
Decisions, decisions. I had some, a lot of suggestions for this, this one. Lots of, um, lots of really cool ideas. Just putting some yellow and white, just making it look like there's a bright, just a really bright light in that. Right now, just kind of making this up as I go. And then that cat's eyes, I'm going to do um, that one's a little bit bulky. Oh, I need paint on my brush. Right, I'm going to take a littleer brush, just a little bit smaller brush, and I'm going to paint these eyes in white first. So that the yellow will show up. Thank you all for jumping on here and watching. I appreciate you guys joining in. It's always fun to paint, watch a paint, watch a painting, and then take what you learn and go and paint it. Get ideas, paint it, get, give it your own little special touch. I just put a little bit of orange in there, and now I'm just going back over it with some yellow. Just to... Orange was just for some shadow, and then the yellow, just trying to brighten it up with the yellow. And then I'm going in with a little bit of white and yellow over on this side. And then I'm going to paint those eyes, but I'm going to have to dry them a little bit. I think I'm going to put a little bit of grass down at the bottom. What do y'all think about that? A few blades of grass coming up. I think that sounds like a good idea.
go in and I'm going to go into the yellow and green and a little bit of white. Some lighter blades of grass. This is my darker, and then I'm just going to put some light ones in. These are just fun little paintings just to set around for decoration. Um, they're fun. Just a little, just something a little fun. Just put a little highlight on that side of that spider. Sometimes I just don't want to hold still. All right, let's see. Let's see black. Y'all still there? All right. How about that? That was fun, wasn't it? That was a quick little, quick little thing. Can't help but highlight things and add a little bit of dimension. You can leave things in silhouette. You don't have to detail and mess. Sometimes less is more. Sometimes if you keep messing, that's when you end up messing up your, your painting. If you keep playing with it too much. I thought that was a fun idea. Y'all like that? Just something different? <laughs> Thanks, Violet. Thanks, Kathleen. It was fun. Aw, thank you, Heather. It was a fun one. So, if you guys haven't signed up for my barn, um, it's a lot of lot of fun, and it's just like this, except for it's we're painting a barn. I'll show you step by step. I go through um, easy stuff. I've already put the um, supply list and everything out there on the private Facebook page that I'll uh, welcome you into and you'll join in and then that's where all the action takes place. Once you register, that's where you go. I've already put the supply list and the um, I did a video in there this evening to show you how to transfer your drawing onto the canvas and I went over the supplies. Some of the supplies you may already have, some of the supplies you may need to buy, um, but uh, make it as easy as I can for you so that you can learn how to paint with me. Um, oh, thank you, Violet. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, I just love to paint, and I want you guys to paint with me. Um, 
But I go through step by step and I'll show you how to do every little thing that you need to do. We'll break it down into three three evenings and make it easy. Um, you can follow along and paint with me or you can watch and then paint later. Um, you'll have the video. It'll be available for you to watch um, over and over and over again. Um, so it doesn't go away. And for $10, I mean, that's a really good deal to be able to, to paint the, um, have the video to watch to paint that. And plus you get all the, um, extra special tips that I'll give you along the way. So, um, I get out, I give out a lot more than $10 worth of information, let me tell you. So, um, it's fun time and it's a learning time and, um, I promise you won't be disappointed. So, um, I'll, po I'll post the link in the comments below and get signed up. Uh, it's Sunday. The 19th is the first evening, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, uh, from seven to eight, uh, each evening, um, just for an hour of your time. And, um, like I said, if you miss it, if you miss the live, if you can watch it on the replay as many times as you want. So, um, I'm looking forward to it too, Violet. I can't wait. Um, it's a fun painting and um, it's something that you can um, leave up for a while and enjoy it and um, then you'll just have to paint with me again and paint another one. <laughs> so actually you could leave it up all year round for all that matter. Um, so all right well thank you all for joining in and painting uh, watching this uh, video here of the cat and the pumpkin. You all get on the get on the ball and paint some of this stuff and post it and uh, the comments so I can see it. So, oh, thanks, Heather. I'm looking forward to it, too. Yeah, it'll be great painting with you guys. Um, it'll be lots of fun, and you guys will uh, really enjoy it. I know you will. So, thank you all so much. Have a great rest of your evening, and um, I'll see you back on, he on here again real soon. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye.